Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions JP, let's have another look at Arena. Um, in a previous Arena video, I talked about um, kind of taking your account in the direction of either working on attack resistances um, or maybe working on evade. Uh, those are just two of like many different choices you could make. But I wanted to show off some evade uh, in my JP account, even though I'm not really focusing on it in this account. I just wanted to show off like what was um, what it's capable of, and then also kind of the different uh, way of thinking uh, that you do when you look for uh, opponents to fight in PvP. Uh, but I'm bringing uh, Veneta, of course, maybe the best uh, evade unit in the game. Uh, with the uh, JP stat stacking, I can give uh, two or more items, and then they'll all help with the evade. Um, so she has the Sage's Hat, and then uh, Vistral's Trustmaster, that gives about uh, 15 flat evade. And then the, uh, the Chocobo Vision card to give everybody agility up. That will help with evade. And then on the right, uh, we're going to use a Super Stern. He's also a very evade character. Uh, he has the Mithril Armor for some evade there. And then the Vision card, which will give uh, the whole party evade. And then slash attack up for him, which is perfect. And then finally, I'm using uh, Odudoa. Uh, she is the most evade of all of the main job soldiers. Although regular Stern can get up there pretty high as well. Um, I threw her in there just because I wanted to use her, uh, but I think I've finally, finally come to the conclusion that she's difficult to use. And maybe this is also not the best map for her. I think she would be better in a uh, smaller map. Uh, but Ribbon, and then uh, Stern's armor for evade there, and then uh, the birth of a new life vision card, uh, which will raise her HP a lot. That's good for her drain force but also give luck to my whole party, so that will help with evade as well. And then for like sub-jobs and support abilities and reaction abilities, I'm just giving them everything that they can uh, in order to get more evade. Okay, let's head in. And then when you look for opponents in PvP, you're looking for pretty much anybody uh, that does not have any 100% hit attacks. So that takes precedence over like attack types, uh, it takes precedence over even elements, I would say. If you can evade everything, uh, then it doesn't matter what they got. <laughs> but anybody that does have a 100% hit attack uh, is automatically pretty dangerous to your team. And so when you are looking for teams, you know, it really helps to have a good knowledge of the skill sets of like all the characters. Uh, if you can look at a team and just know, you know that they don't have any 100% hit attacks, uh, that will really speed up uh, finding opponents and then also raise your chances of success. So yeah, it does take some uh, study in order to use an evade team. Okay, I lost uh, Orodoa there pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, in retrospect, maybe I should have put Super Stern on the far right uh, so that he can do his evade buff on Orodoa. Uh, that might help with her survivability some. I will say that uh, having fought uh, Cecil many times in Arena, he's never been super scary to go against. He's probably one of the more balanced uh, characters in the game that can kind of do a little bit of everything. But, he's not very scary. <laughs> Alright, there he goes. Okay, next. Rain, Irudida, and Vineta. Uh, none of those have the 100% hit attacks. Uh, Ramza is an interesting one to consider as an opponent. Uh, he only has one 100% hit attack, and that is his Limit Break. Uh, which do not come out too often in PvP. So he could be good to go against, but uh, I don't know, there's always that risk. <laughs> and then uh, Orodoa, my Orodoa, she is using a rain sword. Um, it's because I don't really have a good healing sword. I'm still waiting for that event to come around. It hasn't come in the last month or more.
Okay, some evade there from Autodaw, that's great. Hazard Break. Mighty Break. Yeah, crazy range on Irudia, as usual. Alright, lots of evade today from Autodaw. I figured that the team of Super Stern and then Vineta would be so good and kind of so self-efficient uh, that I had kind of like a free slot that I could really put anybody. Um, so I might as well put a character that um, I'm still trying to learn. But also like if I lose pretty quickly, uh, won't maybe affect my chances of winning too much. Uh, if you've had any great success using Autodua, uh please let me know. I'd love to know <laughs> how that's possible. Alright, Hazard Crash there. Lots of evade from uh, Super Stern here as well. And I don't know if that's so much a... Um, to talk about how great my team is. I think just that team was not uh, fitted for accuracy at all. And so if you do decide to go for an evade team, you really want to go as hard as you can. Get all the equipment you can, max the right vision cards, use all of the abilities and raise those like job levels and stuff. Um, because if you go against a team that is not also all in on accuracy, and they don't have 100% hit attacks, you can be very difficult to beat. I say this a lot, but the evade meta is not one that ever dominates, uh, but it never truly disappears either. And um, also, you might have uh, noticed in maybe this or other recent videos, but uh, vision cards are getting the bonus rate. Um, so instead of using a character, uh, you can use the new vision card, or maybe you can use an older vision card, which is picked up. So that really broadens uh, the number of teams and uh, setups that you can bring into Arena and still get the bonus. And I'm very happy to show off uh, this fight against this team because their Stern uh, does very well. The team might even be built around uh, kind of supporting Stern. I mean, you look at Warrior of Light and Engelbert and neither of them are top tier attackers. And Anton, one punching my super stern. Uh, that is that ninja skill, which does not have an attack type. Um, so even though my super stern has the 25% slash resistance, uh, it's not going to help there against that. All right, there's Anton again, taking down my Vineta. And crazy idea, but this team might be built around Stern's Anton, just to make it work. <laughs> uh, the way that you would raise the uh, the damage there would just be to raise his like flat attack, and then also his uh, dark element attack. Alright, there it is again, big damage. Uh, but Stern, regular Stern, I think he's still the character. Uh, with the ninja, either main job or sub job, that still has the highest attack in the game. Uh, that's especially with uh, self sacrifice. And so his uh, ninja, uh, Anton skill, is going to be probably still the most damaging. It might be a, a hassle to look for, um, you know, enemy opponents that have high, and then send your uh, ninjas after them. But that could be another direction that you could go uh, with uh, building your account. Okay, last battle here, uh, Vixdora, Vineta, and Jiza. Uh, Jiza is another bonus character this week, so there's a lot of her as well. Okay, Hazard Crash. There's the defense break, but evade that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Orudoa, uh, she's tough to use. I'll wait till there's a uh, smaller map, maybe, and try her again. Uh, 
Maybe if I gave her the, um, the Tetrasulfid Esper, that might help with her evade. I'm using Golem so that she can get more HP uh, for her Drain Force. Alright, Hazard Crash. I'm kind of sad that they changed Hazard Crash to Hazard Crusher uh, for Global. Hazard Crash is more fun to say. <laughs> All right, Catastrophe there. I've said this before, but I feel like that that is his true finisher more than Hazard Crash. It's got a higher multiplier, but a smaller uh, AoE and then shorter range as well. Okay, so that was a few runs looking at uh, kind of the one of the best evade teams that I can put together in my JP account. Uh, but yeah, just another avenue that you could take your account. Uh, maybe an alternative to uh, building resistances. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.